In this video, we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite little route combinations that you can utilize out of the 2x2 two two spread. Now, what I love about this route combination is it's going to beat every defense in this game. It's also, in my opinion, one of the most effective uh, route combinations and passing concepts that you can utilize because it really takes advantage of the spacing of the field. We're going to stretch the defense horizontally and vertically within this concept. It's really, I think, one of the ultimate passing concepts of Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to go ahead and ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you don't know, I'm going to be talking today about the spread wide slot formation. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about it in the Patriots playbook. I actually have a full spread air raid offensive guide. The air raid is my favorite offense to study in real life. It's also probably my favorite offense to run in Madden. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the air raid offense, or if you just want to get better, I'd encourage you to join my Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get access to not only the Air Raid ebook, but you're going to get access to all 14 of my offensive and defensive ebooks that I've released so far over there and any ebooks that I'm going to release while your subscription is active. Patreon is pretty cheap. It's just $10 a month. For just $10 a month, it unlocks everything over there. And I really think it's going to be something that can help you take your game to the next level. Now, like I said in this video, we're talking specifically about a spread. Uh, two by two spread passing concept out of this you can actually use any play that you want I would recommend that you have slot apprentice if you don't have slot apprentice what you want to do is you want to come out in a play that has the slot on some type of post route or deep dig route and that's what's going to really help this concept so we're got the the deep attack here um, you, you can also run this out of you know other packages as well but we're going to show it to you today out of the deep attack. We want that slot on a post route. Now the setup is really simple for this. All we're going to do is we're going to out route the outside receiver. We're going to wheel the running back. And then on this left side here, um, what I like to do is flat the slot and I like to in route or drag the outside receiver. So you see this is kind of what the, the concept uh, looks like. Now, if you wanted to, you could certainly seam streak and then maybe do like a five yard dig or you could fade and do a hitch. There's a lot that you can kind of piece off of this, but I really love this concept in particular because you're going to be able to beat all the zones. Now, notice our first read is always going to be our running back wheel. This is going to be every major blitzing concept that you're going to face in Madden 22. I'll show you the number one most called defense especially when it comes to pressure and that is the Mike blitz three and what you're going to notice here is that this out route is going to uh, pull the flat and then you're going to have this easy wide open wheel uh, to the running back this is really what makes this route so special that running back route can get open whether it be manned up or it or it's zone covered it doesn't really matter the coverage especially when you have this nice tight end post attached to it so i'll show you here in man we can easily just throw it out there that's how we dropped it but you could have seen there, I mean, it's it's open, it's wide open. And I'll show it to you again against that man blitz. So again, just put the outside receiver on an out. You see, oh, it's man, we'll just throw it right up there, catch it, and you're gonna get off to an easy, easy completion. Now, what about if it's like a coverage defense out of man coverage, I'll show you that as well. So this is cover two man, a little bit of a coverage defense. And what you're gonna notice within this is now, if the main coverage is out there ahead of time, then you can just low ball it and you click on and kind of swerve in and cut it off. If you have backfield master or backfield mismatch, you're gonna have a lot more uh, success hitting this. But the beauty of this, like I said, it beats man, it beats zone. Just simply low ball, you're gonna click on and my guy keeps dropping it, but you see it's wide open. Now, what that's gonna mean is as a user, they are pretty much going to be forced to have to cover this route to the running back. Now, any good defensive player in Madden 22 would be running some type of Mabel concept that basically looks like this. Well, what we're going to be able to do now is we're going to be able to pull their user out of the middle of the field and we can hit our post right over the middle where their user just left. Okay. Now, this is where... I like to tell people if you have a hot route master or a slot apprentice, I would put the backside guy on a post and the front side guy, Gronk, on a slant. So you see here, we've got now a slant post concept 
and then we could take this backside guy, Evans, and put him on a smoke. So you see something like this. I think this is arguably the best passing concept in this game because they work hand-in-hand hand off of each other so well. That wheel, what's really cool about that wheel is you'll notice that the wheel route will actually pull every zone back. So it's going to give us space to hit this uh, this read to Scotty Miller on the, on the post. So you see the wheel, watch it pull, and then late in the play, you've got that coming underneath it, and it pulls back the outside thirds. Like I said, this is one of my favorite concepts. So if we wanted to do that same concept at a dig return or a deep attack, all we need to do is put Scotty Miller on a slant, put Mike Evans on an out route, motion Jones to the left, and then we could take this uh, circle receiver and just simply put him on a whip or a smoke. And what you'll see here is that wheel will pull the zones. Now on this one, it's a little bit different because of the slope of that route, but then you see you can hit your post on the sideline right there. Should have aggressive cut that, but you kind of see the idea uh, of what we're trying to hit on here. And I'll show it to you again. So, you know, again here with, with Jones, you put him here. So you have kind of a route combo that looks like this, if you will. And then if you watch this tight end post, a lot of times you'll see here that late on the play, I can hit this right on the sideline, right in there, okay? Now again, I think having a slot apprentice or something so that you can hot route it makes it that much better. And if you don't have that, let's say you don't have either one of the things that I said that you might wanna have for this concept, I wanna show you a way that you can still get the job done. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna take advantage of a slant to Gronkowski, and then we're actually going to flat Scotty Miller so he pulls the zones out of the way, and then we, we're gonna take Mike Evans and put him either on a five, 10 yard dig or a post if we can, or just a fade. Now watch this real quick. They come out of the middle of the field, you throw to the middle of the field. Makes it a real simple read uh, for your offense. You could also do a smart routed dig. I don't like those as much, but I'll show you it still is gonna work. Slant there, and then the dig coming in behind it turns it into kind of a shallow crossing type of concept. So honestly, probably one of the best tags for the shallow cross. Uh, the shallow cross would, would look more like this, and you would see it looks kind of like this, right? Well, what we can do is we could wheel and then we can out route on the back side here. And this is gonna turn this into just an absolute nasty play and a play that is very difficult to stop. So you can apply this concept to pretty much anything. You can apply it to any formation. You can apply it to any route concept. But I love this little two by two spread concept here because what we have is we have just the ultimate spacing and you could do it both ways. You see here, we could do something like this where we've got this backside dig if their user follows the post. Um, there's just so much you can do. So anyways, this is just the tip of the iceberg of everything that you can do from two by two spread. If you wanna learn more about that spread offense, I wanna encourage you to join the Patreon. For just $10 a month, you literally get everything. All my film studies, we're gonna be pumping out a ton of film studies with the MCS games coming up. We've got a bunch of stuff in there for you, 14 offensive and defensive guides, as well as a lot more. So I wouldn't hesitate if you haven't joined yet, head on down to the description. There will be a link down there that you can click and it'll take you right over where you can check out that Patreon membership. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.